Come on, the car is here. Let's go. Charlotte? Just a second. Clark? I'm not going. Clark? I'm almost ready. <laughs> so after the ordeal that was Caleb, I decided we all needed a little relaxation time. And what better way to unwind than a camping trip? <laughs> Charlotte and Clark have been very resilient to the plan so far, and, well, like my dad always said, with a little bit of pressure and a lot of begging, anyone can break. I hate camping. Random wildlife in me are a no-go. Plants growing uncontrollably? Unacceptable. Worst of all, beaches. I hate wearing shorts of any kind. It's unbecoming of a man to just parade his legs around everywhere, and I know Con's gonna want to make me wear them. I'm trying to think of ways to get out of this. Have you got everything you need? Oh, I think so. Got a couple books in there, laptop, PSP, copy of Just Dance, the backup copy of Just Dance, Dracula... Charlotte, you do realize we're just going camping, right? Yes, I'm aware. I just... this is a bit excessive, don't you think? You want me to enjoy myself, don't you? I just don't think playing video games when there's socializing to be had is fun. Really? Uh -huh. So what are you bringing for entertainment? Just the basics. A book, my phone, and a change of clothes. That's all I need to enjoy myself. You're gonna regret not bringing more. Mm. I don't think you're taking this r, &R very seriously, Charlotte. We defeated Caleb, after all. Why do you keep on saying that? You literally weren't there. Well, I was there in spirit, wasn't I? Clark! I can't go. Why? I broke my leg. How? You see, there was a sock, and I tripped over it, and the leg just snapped into it. You do realize it's medically impossible, right? Uh, who's the doctor here? Well, you are, technically, I but know. you're not a medical doctor. So, doc I think I should take the doctor's advice and stay home. Which leg's broken? The right one. Why are you limping with your left, then? Oops. Nice try, but you're going. But, I don't want to. <sighs> Why are you two so against enjoying some of Mother Nature? It's not Mother Nature I have a problem with, it's you. Whoa. It had to be said. Well, you're still coming. Ding. So where's Tom staying? He's staying at a friend's house. He has a friend? That's what he said. I feel like we're forgetting something. Come on, the car's waiting. Yeah, we're right there. Rumble, rumble. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's hop on in. Don't be so grumpy. Smile a little. <sighs> Damn it, Clark! Get back here! Why did they give you the camera? None of the cameramen wanted to ride with us. <laughs> so the plan is to stop at Tim's for lunch, and there should be a Zares nearby so we can buy any extra supplies that we need. Where exactly is this Zares? Why? No reason. You're planning to call a taxi, weren't you? No. So do any of you know any good road trip games? Please don't. How about I spy? Alright, yeah, you start. Okay, I spy my little eye. Something that's blue. The sky? Nope. That car we just passed? Nope. Oh, Clark sweater. Yeah, no. Oh, 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 the billboard. Yep. Yes. Oh, oh. My turn. Alright, Clark, getting to the spear. Go ahead. I spy with my little eyes something that's white. Are there clouds? Nope. Uh, how about that cow? Nope. The cooler? Nice try. The milk carton? Nope. Alright, Clark, I give up. What was it? Uh, it was actually the naked man that was driving when we passed by. I think that's enough of I spy for now. You know, that's what I thought. Can I, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Why'd you do that to your hair? What do you mean? It looks exactly like Caleb's. I just thought it looked cool, you know, and sometimes you need a change. Well, it's the wrong sort of change. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your opinion. Uh, Alright, we're coming up to Tim's. What does everyone want? I'll take the usual. Black coffee and a chocolate chip muffin. Did I hear that right? A black coffee? A uh, steep tea, actually. That's what I meant. Oh, alright. Clark, what do you want? Uh, I'll take a uh, hot chocolate with some potato wedges. Wedges? Yeah, potato wedges. I know what they are, Clark, but Tim doesn't sell them. Uh, 
Yeah, they do. Charlotte? Yeah, they sell them, Connor. You guys are messing with me. Connor, I know you're not the most observant person, but they do sell them. <laughs> no, they don't, and I'm going to prove it to you. Connor, don't do this. Oh, I'm doing it. I don't want any watches. That's fine, because you won't be getting any anyway. I have. You know, Clark, psychologically speaking, when you say that someone puts them down Sorry, further. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I just think like... Fine. Do you guys want to listen to some songs? Sure, what do you got? Hard to say it's over. Lovers again. Thinking love that I'm not thinking all. Connor, is this something you're not telling us? What do you mean? All these songs are breakup songs. How about the Carrie musical soundtrack? Why do you have that? My drum group's performing it August 12th. And who do you play? A very important role. Prom victim number 14. Right. The best of you. Make fun of you. They will break your heart. Then they laugh at you. Watching you fall apart. Oh man, that's my favorite one. <laughs> the next one's really good as well. Ah, uh, Silence. My favorite song. I don't understand. My phone overheated. Oh, that's a shame. Just when I was getting to the finale too. Now what am I supposed to do? Think of all your past mistakes. <laughs> I already do that, Clark. Wanna share? Oh look, it's theirs! Alright, does anyone need anything? I don't know if I've got everything. Clark? Yeah, actually, could you get me some sunscreen? Alright. Uh, well, wait. I need a specific one. Alright, what's the name? Uh, it's called, uh, La Roche Dash Pose en Celos, uh, 60 Ultralight Sunscreen Fluid featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Can you run that by me again? Uh, yeah, it's called, uh, La Roche Dash Pose en Celos, 60 Ultralight Sunscreen Fluid featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Okay, I think I got it. All right, Clark, here you go. Thank you. <sighs> Honor, this is the wrong brand. Are you serious? I never joke about skincare. All right, let's turn it around. Don't even try it, Clark. AA exercises. Why didn't you respond? I knew you're up to something. Charlotte, we're here. Great. All right, let's go. Just as I remember it. You've been here before? Yeah, I did help build it. He always said it was an escape from mom. So, who's gonna be sleeping where? Well, I was thinking you and I could take the mattresses on the floor, Clark, and Shadow can sleep on the upper level. So, you and I are sleeping on the floor? No, Clark, you misheard me. We'll be sleeping on the mattresses. Which will be on the floor. Yes, yeah, so that's part of so the point. So, we're sleeping on the floor? I suppose we are. Great. So, what's everyone's plans for the day? I'm just gonna read my book. Down by the beach? Sure. 
What about you, Clark? I was thinking about doing nothing. Down by the beach? Nothing. Oh, Clark. You know, I was hoping we'd have a nice day together, sitting on the beach. Yeah. Looking at the waves, forgetting about our past mistakes and Clark worries. But if you don't want to come, that's fine. I'll just do as I always do and sit alone. Okay, fine. I'll go to the stupid beach. Perfect! Don't forget to change. Don't you need to as well? Oh, Clark. <laughs> you fool. I always come prepared for the beach. I'll see you down there. He really goes to the beach, doesn't he? He hates his escape from reality. There's probably a psychological reason for that. You want me to just tell you? No, no, no. I want to figure it out myself. Alright. This will be fun. What do you mean I give an odd look when Connor mentioned the beach? I love the beach. Okay, here's the down though. I hate the beach. I just don't get what's so appealing about laying in the baking hot sand, burning your skin, and fighting with seagulls for your food. I think Anakin put it best. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Woohoo, what are those? What? Oh. Ha ha. Hilarious. You know, Connor and I had started about if you even had legs. Hey, hey, hey. No touching. Okay. Why aren't you ready anyway? I'm gonna grab some food first, I'll meet you down there. <laughs> Don't worry, I want to leave you alone with Connor. You better not. I won't, now go before he comes back. I'm going. Maybe he just really likes the beach because of a good memory at once. Or maybe it's just because he enjoys being burned in the hot sun. <sighs> maybe it is just his escape from reality. Where's Clark? Clark! 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 What's wrong? But I think something's hit me. It might have been a shark. You need to go get help. Shouldn't I come in and help instead? No, no, it's fine. I need to find someone, Clark. Go! Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm going! Clark. Charlotte. Charlotte. What are these scarecrows? What's wrong, Clark? I think Connor's in trouble. What? What's wrong? I think he's being attacked by a shark. <laughs> okay, that's just his jaws, Frank. He does it to everyone. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, okay, what are the odds that a shark would be in that shallow of water? Also, also, sharks are not naturally violent creatures. They wouldn't just come out of deep waters, out of their comfort zone, to attack a human. They're just curious creatures, Clark. They just, they see something in the water, they just nibble at it. They don't know that they're going to chop off someone's leg or their arm. They just nibble. They, they're curious. Not to mention, why would he send someone away if he's being attacked by a shark? Yeah, that did seem odd. Yeah. Just pretend that you fell for it. No pretending needed. That's odd. What? Connor is usually in plain sight by this point. Maybe just out of view. Yeah, I guess. Let's look around. Alright. Connor! Connor! Oh, my God, no! Come on! I just need to say it was changed my mind. 
nice leg, by the way. Hey, what did you just do to the finger? You only play both, by the way. For real? Oh, damn it. <laughs> No, I can't believe they do something like that. That's the last time I try and help them. Or wear shorts. I'm starting to see why Barker would want to end it all. I mean, end as a therapist. <laughs> must be saying these little helpers themselves. What's so funny? Oh. Is there more misery? <laughs> you wish. No, no, no. We got ice cream. Which was a terrible idea. All right, let me give you the donut. <laughs> okay, so I decide since it's a hot summer day that it might be better to put the ice cream in a little cup. Charlotte, on the other hand, was very committed to the idea of having it in an ice cream cup. <laughs> it's not as funny as it Wait, wait, so here's the best part. As we're leaving the store, I look over at Charlotte and I see that the cone's wobbling a little bit. So I warn her, I say, Charlotte, keep an eye on it, it may fall over. So as I turn around to walk ahead a bit, I hear the worst sound known to man, ice cream hitting the floor. So I turn back to see Charlotte, who looks completely in dismay at what just happened. Her eyes are big, bug-eyed and everything. She raises one arm to look, and then she raises the other, and she sees the soggy cone and the mess that's been created there. Then she goes with her hand to go and grab the ice cream. Well, I wasn't about let, to let $2 go to waste. Right, so she goes to grab the ice cream, and as she does, it completely sucks through her hand, melting completely. She looks back over at her other hand and sees a soggy cone, and then she says, waste not, what not, and then proceeds to shove it in her mouth. I think that just shows my dedication to the craft of ice cream making. <laughs> no arguments here. <laughs> Shut up. Are you saying dinner soon? Uh, yeah. Whoa. Wait, can you even cook? Yeah, who do you think makes dinner every night? Wait, that's you? That was Jojo. Jojo doesn't work for us in over a year, Clark. Huh. It's funny, because I swear I see him every night. You alright, man? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go for a walk. What you working on? I'm just researching some patients. But you're on Twitter. Exactly. So you can tell a lot from somebody based off of what they say on Twitter. Connor, for example, shows that he is very happy with his life at the moment. Okay, but what if a patient doesn't have Twitter? <laughs> Come on. Everybody has Twitter. Okay, but what if they don't? Unlikely, but if I can't get a read on them anywhere, I just cancel the appointment. And you blame Connor for your lack of patience. It is his fault, after all. Right. Hey, Charlotte, how's dinner coming along? It'll be ready within the hour. Good. It smells delicious. Clark, would you like to come with me to grab some firewood? Why? Just thought we could chit-chat. All right. It's not like I have anything better to do. Great. We'll be back within the hour, Charlotte. All right. See ya. So, are you enjoying yourself? Meh. I've never really been big on camping, especially when people mess with me. Really, I've always loved camping. My dad used to take us up here all the time. When did your dad build the cabin? In the last year of his marriage. He thought I might save it. Obviously, he didn't. I've been meaning to ask you something. Yeah? What's the relationship between your father and Ian? It's... it's interesting. Um, Dad always tried to include Ian in things, but my grandparents made it very clear that Dad was their favorite, so Ian became very resentful. Dad tried to include him still, but Ian would usually shut him down. <sighs> it got to the point where they only see each other on holidays. That's sad. I suppose so. Oddly enough, the divorce has brought them closer together. Where's your father now? In England. He wanted to do some soul-searching. He sends postcards every now and again, reminding us how much he loves us. You must miss him. Yeah, all the time. You don't realize how much you love stupid dad jokes until they're gone. Come on, before it gets cold. You better not keep her waiting. That was amazing, Charlotte. Thank you. Yes, thank you. No problem. And I'm glad you guys liked it, because it's now time for tabletop games. I'm sorry, what? Maybe it's a little soon to force that on him. Force what on me? 
It's an Anderson tradition that after every meal while camping, we play tabletop games afterwards. I see. I will be skipping it this year. I see. You're gonna be a coward this year. No, I just think I should start the fire. Sure, that's why. Mm. We all know it's just because you don't want to be creamed. Charlotte, I'm better at tabletop games than you. I don't know, I've been practicing a lot this past year. Try as you might, I won't fall for your little trap. I'm gonna go start the fire. If you leave now, I won't make any s'mores. Are you threatening me? I don't know, let's figure it out over a game of go fish. Fine, but if I win, you have to make twice as many s'mores. Fine, but if I win, you... You have to play tabletop games with me all year. You're on. <sighs> Baby! <laughs> the competition started innocent enough. Connor won a few, Charlotte won a few. Then it got serious. I knew they were both competitive, but jeez, they started yelling at each other. Dramatic swearing and over-the-top gestures. Eventually, I just got fed up. Okay, if you could not lie to me this time, that would work out. I wasn't lying for I know, you had a three! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, well, look at this. I already have a pair, Charlotte. Oh, my Potter! Fine! Oh, my... All right. Oh, look, I have another pair. I'm what? sorry. I'm not even paying attention. Charlotte, Come do on. you have a jack? You are cheap. Do you have a jack? Just... Jack. J-A-C-K, Charlotte. I do not see a jack in Oh, you. you're such a lying little I bitch. I don't you see You always a jack have a jack. You never not Go have a jack. Go to the pond and I fish. I know you forgot I you have a fly pole. Fine. But I'm you need to I'm go. fishing. Okay. Oh, look, another pair. <laughs> You too. Connor, you go set the campfire, Charlotte, you do the s'mores. What are you gonna do, Clark? I'm gonna go to bed. I can't handle you guys yelling anymore. Hmm. What was the score? Even. You're just lucky. I'm lucky. Oh, yeah, just you know what's right. Time. You need to make that you keep. See you outside? You know it. <gasps> you know. How do you like your marshmallow? Golden brown. Thanks. So, I think I know the real reason why you wanted to come up here this weekend. Oh? Well, this week marks the two-year anniversary of the finalization of Mum and Dad's divorce. Does it? I didn't notice. Alright, but you can't get anything past me. Mm -hmm. You will always go camping when you want to escape. Well, maybe this year I just wanted to get out of the city, enjoy some country air, maybe have a nice hearty fire with some friends. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Charlotte. For coming, I mean. What are little sisters for? <laughs> well, I thought they were for making good s'mores, but you're burning this marshmallow. Uh, oh, shit. You should have told me. You had to make your point. All right, give me another marshmallow. Yes, sir. Make some more like that. I'm just gonna okay, do it. I was okay. Paying attention. When I pay attention, I can make some more. Oh, I'm trying to sleep. Sorry. Good night. You all right? Yeah, Clark. I think something ran past my face. Can you turn on the light? <sighs> There, there, there was um, a giant spider. Where? Right on top of me. Well, that was an adventure, but I think I'm just gonna go back to bed. No, 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 no! You can't do that. We have to, we have to find the spider, Clark. Come on, Connor. Clark, I won't be able to get to sleep until we find the spider and kill it. So you're gonna check the perimeter, and Charlotte, you can stay with me. Are you seriously gonna make me walk outside in the middle of the night for a stupid spider? Uh, yeah, I am. Come on, let's go. I mean, you go, I'm staying here. Come on, Clark. Come on. Ugh. I can't believe he's freaking me out this much over a stupid spider. Yeah, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? No spider. He's okay. Jeez, that's a big web, though. What'd you find, Clark? Nothing, because there's nothing to find. Why is it a fan? I don't even know where you got it.
You know, it's fine. Want to get them to stay up all night to watch me some <laughs> No, Connor, this is ridiculous. Spiders don't target people. Now it's just we all just go to bed. Charlotte, I think you're conveniently forgetting about the gene spider. Do you remember that? The guy was literally working in his wood shop, minding his own business, when the spider literally crawled up into his gene leg and bit him to- uh, Connor. Connor. Like enough. spiders did. No, Charlotte, you need to understand the story that- I understand fingers. enough. Enough, Connor. Charlotte, you're not understanding my poop, did you? Enough. Charlotte. Enough. Tell me to do it. Charlotte. Come, please. Come, Charlotte. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Morning, Clark. Shut up. I'm just a little grumpy this morning and I can't really figure out why. I mean, I came up with the perfect plan last night with dealing with the spider crisis. I set an alarm for every hour so I could check the perimeter around my bed. <laughs> Easy peasy. He should be here soon. I asked him to come a bit earlier because we finished everything, right? So. Yeah, sounds good. I actually had a lot of fun this weekend. It was nice to catch up with Connor and talk just like old times, which we haven't really done in a while. It was especially nice that he didn't pull any pranks on me. Only Clark, as it should be. You got everything, Clark? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the driver's there. I mean, go have to meet him. Would I ever go camping again? <laughs> no. I don't really enjoy pranks being pulled on me. I mean, Connor and Charlotte are okay, but... I wouldn't want to really be stuck in one room with them, you know? How's it going, Clark? Not too bad. Yourself? Tired. I think I figured out why Connor likes the beach so much. What's your analysis, Doctor? He likes it so much because he can just sit alone with the waves and, you know, just think to himself. He doesn't have to worry about what other people think of him. And even if he's alone, he feels at peace. Yeah, I wish I could see what he sees. Well, probably should keep him waiting. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of sad to go. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was something, all right. You know, I think we should make a promise. We come back here for a weekend every year. Then we can catch up, you know, see each other. Yeah, that sounds nice. I promise. Oh, fine, I guess. Sounds good. I look forward to it. Cool.